So well, uh, we're talking about uh, why good boys marry bad girls. So, if you have not been on this channel before, you're very welcome to uh, our YouTube channel, and we talk about relationship, uh, how to marry a godly man, a godly woman, and what are the kind of things you should be talking about. You know, while you're courting, while you're trying to know your partner, and um, how do you get to how do you get to know that you're you're with the right person. I mean, that's practically the kind of conversations that we're having here and it's all in the aim of helping people to to build a godly home, a happy home and um, and, and be happy. Happy ever after is what we're looking for actually. <laughs> so, yeah, today we have a topic and yeah. that is uh, why do good girls often marry bad bad guys and, and also then, why do the good ladies reject the nice guys and why do the good ladies reject the nice guys the good ladies reject the nice guys yeah, yeah. they reject them and marry, and the marry their uh, they shuffle their cards and pick a yeah. joker instead okay, of i'll just give you the word first and then if you are yeah, the, the, the woman, yeah, you're the the woman you could probably okay. provide yes. us with the feminine yeah. perspective well from a feminine based perspective on, based on maybe experience and the things that i mean you've married a good guy for sure so yeah. not experience but by no, maybe, experience, maybe what you've seen, what you've seen and yeah, observed observe. yeah okay so well from my own perspective i i would say that many good many. girls end up marrying bad guys because they um Sorry, I, I guess we should also restrict it to like in believers in church setting. Yeah, so I mean, that it's not just too general. Okay, so why do Chris, why will a Christian even marry someone that's a Christian? Because no, be, not even not a Christian. You know, they they are bad guys. They are sheep and wolves clothing even in church. Yeah, why do they even fall in the hands exactly, of bad guys? Exactly, that's the even bad in guys. Church, okay, that's, that's the angle. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the, yeah, that's the angle. <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> Okay, so well, the reason is basically that a woman is a very emotional person, and a woman is always swayed by what she hears, the words that she's told. I mean, like someone said that women think with their heart and not with their head. So if this guy is the mastery of the art and he knows how to talk smooth. And he 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 knows what he should say and what will appeal to uh, to her her feelings or her dreams and expectations because don't don't make a mistake many women are always many young ladies are in a bubble delusional they, I won't say they're delusional I'll say that they they, they <laughs> have dreams yeah they have dreams like sometimes in marriage they have dreams from the movies they've watched. They have dreams from what they see on social media. They have imaginations about um, novels that they've read. You know, it's, it's not a secret that many girls read a lot. And, you know, growing up as a teenager, I read a lot of stories. And, of course, as a woman, it's either we go for the um, cr criminal investigation, if you have a very analytical mind and you want to be a lawyer, or you go for the romantic novels. Mm. Okay? And that's because of the fantasy of, oh, that's what it means to be loved, and, mm -hmm. and that's what you think that should happen in a marriage, and, and we have this fake or blurred view or imagination about what uh, marriage is all about, what a man that professes to love us, if that's all that's all about relationship-wise and maybe for the fact that he's telling me sweet words and he cannot deceive me and of course back in the days they would say oh trust me i cannot break your heart your heart matters to me it's so important to me i take you in high regard but how do you know that what he's saying is actually the truth right yeah. so a woman usually is falls into that trap because she allows herself to start to listen to what um these so-called good and uh, bad guys are, are saying to them and it starts with familiarity that's the beginning of the whole thing when you don't place your create boundaries and set your boundaries right then somebody can start to tell you some some bullshit and then you believe that whatever he's saying is is all the truth and i mean why does he want to women forget to ask the right questions 
That's what I would say. They forget to ask the right questions. A man cannot just see you all of a sudden and start telling you things like, your voice is so sweet in the ear, I had your voice and I couldn't think anymore. <laughs> And uh, things like, you know, your face is like, when I look at your face, I'm looking at the face shining of an angel, angel. shining angel, and uh, <laughs> your voice, when I heard you singing, um, something just told me that that's my wife right there, and I think that I'll be the best person for you, God has told me, God speaks to me, and the, 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 the spiritual girls get swayed when... The man is telling them that God has told them and they give you this vision and the man is... They want a spiritual man, okay? They want a man that loves God. And the fact that the man prays and he's very spiritual, he has a big Bible, he dresses a certain way, he talks a certain way, he has the right spiritual verbiage. Then they think that, okay, automatically he's a good boy, he's the prayer warrior leader, he's the choir leader. Right? If, if the church believes and trusts him enough to give him a leadership position on campus or in mm -hmm. the youth church, mm -hmm. then he's definitely a good person mm -hmm. or a good Christian mm -hmm. or the kind of man that they should have as the head of their home. Right? But many times they are mistaken because I have heard of a youth leader that defiled a youth in his church. Of course, she trusted him enough. That's our pastor. He talks about immorality. He talks about living right. He talks about uprightness. He talks about everything that, that, that is that fashions and build her life. She never thought that this man has, I mean, that kind of immoral thoughts, and that he could even do such a thing to her. Of course, he ended up raping her because he came in a situation where he started, and she was like shocked, like, ah, oh, no, now. No, no, is that a joke? Like, are you joking? And she realized he wasn't joking. And when he saw himself in that situation, he raped her, right? He raped her. So, you want to be careful as a woman because always test spirit. I tell women to test every spirit and ask questions. Why are you suddenly telling me these kind of things? And if God is speaking to you, give me time for God to speak to me. And don't let yourself be carried away and swayed away by sweet words, sweet talk. But try to find out how is even God speaking to you. Many girls don't have a personal relationship with God. They don't have that relationship where God can speak to them. And they can hear clearly that God is telling me this. Or God is telling me that. They don't even have that kind of relationship. They've not developed their work with God to that extent. That's why they can easily be swayed by a man that is obviously ha might have backslidden. Even if he was a Christian before he has backslidden. And now... He tells them all these things and he's able to cover up. But a real child of God, God will not want you to fall into a trap. God, God would have been saying something. God is always speaking. God is always speaking to his children. So most times when people make a mistake, I tell them God must have been speaking to you. Think back. Think deep. What were the cues that you were seeing that made you to have a second thought? That made you to feel, oh no, I think I should put a stop. I should slow things down. I should not, you know, there's always somewhat. If you have that relationship with God, that God is speaking to you now, it's left to the ladies to listen or not to listen. Right? God gives you an option. God doesn't force anybody. So he gives you an option. Do you want to listen to what he's telling you or do you want to go your own way? And when you're going your own way, it looks like as if God is silent. But he's just watching you. He has already told you what to do. He's waiting for you to come back to the right track. Like come back to retrace your step. Right? So the... I don't think I don't want to take all the points because I know that no, you no, guys I have guess, some I guess the, the follow up angle say, for you is the second part. Why do they reject the good guys that might have come even before the bad guys? As a matter of fact, I mean to be blunt, many of the good guys that were coming that, that come sometimes they lack packaging. No, no, I, I understand. They, no, they, 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 I, I, I understand. I get your question. No, no, I'm just going to tell you. Let, let me rephrase it. Let me rephrase it. Let me rephrase it. I let, love me, this. let me rephrase <laughs> it this way because I want us to restrict ourselves to the church. I get it. I'm going so to the that, the Christian, the Christian. You are thinking that within the church packaging is irrelevant. No, 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 not irrelevant. I get it that some of the good guys may not have the packaging. Mm -hmm. Obviously, women are generally speaking more emotionally calibrated than, or and socially calibrated than men. So, knowing that as the as the good girl, as a good lady, I don't think it should be a re necessarily a deal breaker. You get what I'm trying to say? No, I'm not saying as a deal breaker. At the first instance, yes. Like, 
on the f like at first sight mm. the reason why a lady will first say no 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 nah, not me on this person nah, look at the way he looks yeah, okay. and i know a very good christian woman that told me that okay the man she married the first time he came oh mm. lord he was unkept mm. lord have mercy she mm. said he was so unkept mm. he was so tattered looking mm. so unkept shoes was out of the place mm. forget it women look at men's shoes no no again, very again, factual again, again, again. you know some men don't know these things yeah. when a woman sees you first sight you from mm. head to toe like hey who is this one now mm. and everybody wants to be proud of the prince that she's carrying as mm. her man every mm. woman mm. wants to be proud of, of yeah. how of the man that she has beside mm -hmm. her, beside her, and so he, when he proposed to her, she said, "Huh?" She said she first said no. Please, the answer is no. Mm -hmm. She didn't pray about it. Mm -hmm. She first said no. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Even if you are the will of God, are you not supposed to arrange yourself before you come and propose to me? He said, "I don't care so much, or you don't think that I am worth dressing up to mm -hmm. come and meet." I mean, let's be factual. If that oh, brother was yeah, going to the yeah. vice president no, or somebody that is very important, we are told that he will pay attention we to are how even he looks. Told that the church is dressed as a bride are gone to meet to meet her. <laughs> yeah, that's the spiritual way. Yeah, that. <laughs> but that's the bride, huh? the bride of Christ now. Yeah. But that's the bride to the groom, not the groom to the bride necessarily. And but the groom was. was do you think ways. Jesus is not ready? It's not well dressed. Let's continue. Let's continue. <laughs> well dressed. It's well dressed in holiness yeah. and righteousness and, uh, and everything that you think in humility, meekness. I'm not frustrated. I'm not arguing. Uh, I'm just trying to point out. Uh, yeah, dynamics. Pull off. Pull off, man. Well, uh, so, but yeah. you know, so no presentation is very important. Is no, presentation, no, presentation is very important. Let me foresight. Presentation is important. Let me follow it up with this mm -hmm. presentation. But like the example you were giving us, but again, that wasn't necessarily a deal breaker eventually. Mm -hmm. Because she went back to pray now. Oh, so what you're saying is that for some people don't even go back. No, they don't even ah, some of them they don't even pray. They're like, they are broke. Can you not see? Oh Lord. So so, so, so brother, how did they even see me? How was it? I know when a sister she was even talking to marriage ladies and she said mm -hmm. when the husband came, she's like, ah, who is this person? Who is this person? Just, how did this one find himself to my presence? Like some co some sis ladies will ask themselves like, see that I'm not worth the better looking yeah. brothers <laughs> or the more responsive and, brothers and because the way you present yourself it tells you a lot about yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, and and I would say this. Um, I had a friend. I have a friend. She's still a friend. She's married now, and mm. we we're in the same school. But she was a a year jun my junior, right? And so mm. when I was in Ghana, and this is the deeper life sister, right? Mm. And she says to me recently that you know. Like back then, even if God said, <laughs> "I'm the will of God," she would say no. Yeah, because of the way I used to oh, talk. Okay. Okay. Like I wouldn't. I was coming there. I wouldn't. Really I wouldn't talk. consider the other person. Mm. I feel like I can say anything. Mm. But but when I came to Canada and things have changed, she knows that our conversation is more thoughtful. Okay. Yeah. And, then, and so <clears throat> those are things that, because especially within some Christian settings, you don't mm -hmm. get to interact with people in different aspects yeah. to be able mm -hmm. to see the other aspects of them. Yes. It's just what they just see. And so mm -hmm. like if this is what it's coming, then maybe I'm not ready for okay. it. You know? mm -hmm. And so, okay. it, yeah. yeah. So apart from the dressing, he's bringing another part. Yeah. Way, talk, way to carry talk. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, and there are some brothers that are like that. They don't know how to talk to sisters. When I was on campus, there were some brothers that were like, I can never marry this brother. Mm -hmm. If this is the only brother left, I won't marry. This man cannot be my husband. Yeah. What, what's wrong with him? What does he think? What, what's wrong with him? He just, he thinks that he's going to marry a slave, a servant, a baby, a, someone that doesn't have a mind, someone that he just can just control. Let's, let's and, and, sorry, and that sorry. control is relative. The way he mm -hmm. talks. Like, there are some men that when they talk, they, 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 they talk about women and things. I want us to pause here and come back to the point in the sense that remember we said the nice guys, the good guys. Obviously, this particular person that is talking um, it doesn't mean that he's not good now he's christian now no but, but the way, but the way you are saying but the way you are saying when that, you say good you're talking about a christian a christian spiritual man now but that's what i'm saying they're spiritual they are christians so let me, let me but they've not cleaned up 
No, I understand. They I understand. Have some rusty no, ones. They need to shine. They need to, shine. Yeah, they need yeah. to clean up. You know, they need to. You know, yeah. I understand the comportment, the maybe dressing or appearance aspect. And yeah. someone can be spiritual and the dre- appearance will be, you know, shaky. Some people will say shallow because some people watch this, this, no, no, this no. and say that was a very shallow. No, we are, we are talking thing from the female perspective. That isn't? you should be looking at, but a whole when you want to buy something, you want the to package. Stop, you look at the whole package. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You look at how it looks. Now like, you even touch it. You say. I think this wood is not good. Let's go for this other wood. Okay. And maybe this wood is even better than this other wood. Okay. But because of the way it was presented, yeah. it doesn't cost anything to okay. clean up and to, to watch the way you talk, to work and, on and, yourself. And, yeah, and sometimes... And to be consi- most times people mm-hmm. talk bad because they are selfish. Yeah, and they forget not, how people so, feel when... So for me, out. it wasn't because I was selfish, right? But in terms of teasing blunt. people, being blunt, yeah. it was, that was how I grew up. In okay, my, yeah. in Your my background, yeah, in the mm-hmm. neighborhood that I grew up in, that was that. But that, that doesn't define. It doesn't right? define me, and that was how I was able but, to make room but to, be able be, to grow out of it. There should be willingness to to, to, to realize that. Okay? Yeah, no, I don't think this way I've been doing it is right. It's right. Yeah, that is true, and that is if you genuinely have people that will point out some of those things to you. You know, I I still have some issue with this angle in the sense that. Mm-hmm. I'll give you a practical example. Some people know it, some people don't know it about me. Mm-hmm. I'm very sarcastic. Mm-hmm. But you only know it if, if you've been close to me. That is the point. You, you get So, for example, if I'm going to come to someone maybe I've not really been close to, to like you were saying, like people, obviously I can't be sarcastic because no, uh, this person is, doesn't know you me. Mean, I don't know this person. Yeah. That is why when we we'll come back to, I come back to this issue of the good guy. If this person is a spiritual person, he should have gotten to a level of maturity, like you said. If it's the physical one, I can understand that one. Yeah. But the one of talking, that's the one that is still strange to me. Anyway. And, and yeah. because, you know, you rap people say, a common woman. A common woman. You know, you have common woman. <laughs> I'm telling you, I've heard it. Whenever they say, I, I ask myself, what, what does he mean when he says that thing? Oh, just say, say like, you are Yoruba. I'm Yoruba, yes, but I don't speak good Yoruba. But oh. I hear them say it. <laughs> okay. No, I hear them say it. <laughs> no, I hear them say it over oh, and over. Like, what did he mean by that? It's like he say, just a woman, come on, woman, you know. And they feel like, ah, you a woman. Yeah. And you're, you're against what me. I'm saying, what do you mean? I'm telling you, this is going to be. I'm telling you, you are my wife. <laughs> the Lord has said it. <laughs> And I hold it by confidence. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that, I don't say no, no but until I come into your home. I'm not under your control. Exactly, right? we're talking before then now, isn't it? We're talking of even before relationship yeah, and marriage. I, I, yeah, even before relationship and marriage. Some people just think that they have okay, the right okay, to okay. they have the right to talk to you because you're just a woman. Okay. Okay. You're just a woman after all. Yeah, because right? what what I see is like personality styles, right? Yeah. And what we call the bad guys, hmm. they have a range of personality styles oh, yeah, yeah. and they know what circumstance they could put on that style to yes, fit in yeah. that particular mm-hmm. person. Sociopathic to psychopathic. Exactly. <laughs> and so if you are not very discerning, you wouldn't be able to know who mm-hmm. the true person really yeah. is, right? Because yeah. they judge the situation and see that, oh, if I project this particular nature mm-hmm. around this time, this person will fall for it. Cause yes. They tested it. And it has to work but those good guys don't know those games because they've not played. Exactly. They don't play games. Right? They just yeah. know my Bible, my school, my job, and that's how it is. I'm mm-hmm. so sincere. That's mm-hmm. just me. If you don't like me like this, that's what I am. Yeah. But as a place of refinement, you refine, refining, you have to refine. Now it depends on the kind of girl that you're going for mm-hmm. also, mm-hmm. and that's why I say. You're a good man. We are talking of in the church, you remember? Yeah, yes, yeah, but yeah, even yeah. in the church, I mean, there, are different, there are women with different a level of exposure. It's a broad right? spectrum. I have, I grew up in a different kind of background. He grew up in a different kind of background. Maybe in my family, my dad gives attention to every child in the family, mm-hmm. and their voice matters. Mm-hmm. And he treats. He doesn't think that a girl is yeah, of a, ha, a lower pedestal than a boy, mm-hmm. or that the girl does not have any word to say, the boy has the final say, and that the woman has to just be subjugated. Maybe my dad is not like that. Mm. Maybe my dad, maybe I come from a family where we're all girls. And oh, my guy, yeah, my yeah. guy, my dad feels that every woman is so important, mm-hmm. and that you are, he, he, he has boosted your, your he has your already self-esteem. built your self-esteem. Mm. Then you meet this man, 
that knows something else. That knows that women just keep quiet. And according to the Bible, we quote it. Paul even said women should keep quiet in the church. <laughs> Okay. Let, let, you know, some people call the Bible okay. out of let, place. Let, 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 me, it's, let me define. It's boring, let, me take, right? let me define this good guy we are talking about. Or nice guy. Let go me ahead. define it. Yes. A nice guy mm -hmm. in this context yes. a, is a Christian man. Yes. That by God's grace. Yes. Is heading to heaven. Yes. That is his primary goal in life. That's right. And whoever that is going to come along with him mm -hmm. as his wife. Yes. He will do everything in his power. For both of them to make it to heaven. That is the nice. That's what I'm calling good guy. That's the context. Okay, but why? I mean, a man can be all of that. No, but uh, no, no. Because if this man, has then if you thing, have or if you if you heaven is your primary goal and you do everything to make it, yes. yeah, it doesn't mean that you wouldn't have some aspect of things you need to refine, which may not hinder no, no, your heaven. No, no exactly. That's what I'm mean? saying. So those things that you need to refine. Yeah. I'm not to this level of the things she's raised. These guys are not concrete. They're the, not, they are there not, are people they are not who are going to heaven. They're going to heaven with those things. It's their characteristics. It's, not, it's, it's their not character. A sin. It's yeah, not a sin. Come to that this this, this, this yeah. thing that you said of all oh, people that will say, oh, it's not just a woman. That's it's not a sin thing. now. Is it a sin to say that? What did the Bible say? <laughs> to him that do it to do right that does not do it to him it is sin. No, he doesn't see it that that's that's I how, understand. That's how you contextualize no, this no, verse. I understand that is why I'm saying that. That verse is based on the context of the individual. Mm -hmm. But what it tells me about that person, if I'm a woman yes. in that situation, yeah. what it tells me about this person is this person that this is his level of spiritual maturity. You get in the, in that context. Okay. So But it doesn't mean that he's not going to help. No, 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 that's what I'm saying. In that context, what it means is that, yes, what I'm trying to bring out is this. Mm -hmm. it, it, it boils down to our former previous discussion. This is what I believe personally. A woman should marry a man she can respect. How can she respect the man? The man must be ahead of her. Yeah. In certain key areas. It might not be in every area. But in certain key areas where she can follow his lead. Now, in that context, you already seen this person's spiritual level, maturity. Again, depending on the lady's level of maturity. So, if that is the situation at play, she ha she's within biblical right to reject that proposal. You get what I'm trying well, to see, say? see, what you're saying is a little bit, you know, somebody can be spiritual and be crude. I, I get when you say the, the issue of appearance, I can understand that. No, appearance is not a sin. I'm no, just saying, I'm just telling you what. So I'm just giving you general yes, yes. reasons why a girl at first, even if she comes back to say yes, she might see no I've struggle with it. Okay. Because okay. God is not dealing with her. Okay. okay. And she's like, okay, I know God, you're telling me that this was the right person. Okay. How can I just marry him? Because she's struggling with it. Okay. I mean, right? Yeah, and because another thing to remember that <clears throat> you can make it heaven, but sometimes it's just through fire. Yeah, right? yes, yes, yes. And if you want to be under marry somebody who will be saying things that will hurt you all the time and yeah. you have to mm. kind of subject yourself mm. through that pain every time although you're making it to heaven but yeah, it's not a yeah, pleasant yeah. experience it's yeah. one thing too as well and going back to the idea of appearance Ooh, right yeah, yeah, yeah. and somebody has got they didn't deem you i don't think i don't think it's deliberate i wouldn't want to think it's deliberate that i want to propose to somebody and i'll put up my Oldest, well, so maybe just, the person doesn't just care. Yeah, they don't. They don't. They don't, don't, they don't deem that as something no, no. important. That, that is why that. I didn't have an issue with that. Why? No. I, why I don't have an issue with that is like I said. But for the woman, it may be an issue. No, no. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking about struggling talking about from right? that situation. It's mm. understandable in the sense that I said generally women are more emotionally and socially calibrated mm. and aware than mm. men. Mm -hmm. So why I see that as okay, in the, not okay as in understandable is that eventually he will have to learn mm -hmm. she'll teach him right if exactly. he's willing to learn no but in this second case you were talking about how the person speaks, speaks. it's yes. not even the issue of that's learn it's a different but level. the person is still a good guy though by yeah. your definition i don't know if he's a good guy in that definition oh, wait, but the definition because is making it to heaven he's making it on to heaven for christians so i qualify it's not to make it to heaven, but you qualified it now you know there are some people god needs to be beaten and <laughs> Take through fire to even get there. <laughs> yeah. Just based on his mercy. So your definition of good is then the smooth path or no, like the person that is because it's kind of a because difficult if, definition, if this right? definition the, 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 the definition I'm giving is mm -hmm. it's just like what Apostle Paul said in Philippians.
mm -hmm. I press son towards that man. The person knows and is walking and trying to grow. I love that song. I'm pressing on the upward wing. You hide again. Yeah. That's the person I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, but this person is an easy guy. This one will not. They will say no to him because it's easy. He's one. He wants to improve. No, this second one that I said I'm talking. No, so no, 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 no. This one you're defining no. good. You said why do women reject? Why would somebody guys? say no? So this I'm telling man. you, they reject. That's so, what I'm saying. So what have you seen? What, what have you seen? What, 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 what reason okay. would they? Yeah. Let me give you this practical one. I know. I know. I won't go into detail. Yeah, yeah. But this particular one, from what I heard, mm -hmm. different people mm -hmm. were coming mm -hmm. yeah, for this lady. Mm -hmm. yeah. But she felt that she doesn't want it to look as if maybe she married for money. You know, maybe because this person had money, that, okay, that's why I'm choosing this person, or because this person has a status, that's mm -hmm. why I'm choosing this person. She wanted someone, quote and unquote, to build with. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, well, that's. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you the practice. That's stuff. a noble thing, for sure. Yeah. But the thing is that, the thing is that this person, Okay, they they knew, they knew in school mm -hmm. everything, but the good guy was in school with this not the, lady. No, there was in fact there was one that was coming from outside the country to come to see her, mm -hmm. and said, "Just wait for me, let me come." But well, she didn't wait. She went with this other bad guy, quote unquote bad guy. Why? 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 Why is he bad? Why was bad he Christian? Is he not they, on they the way? I don't know. Maybe they were attending the same church, but marriage didn't last one year. But why? No, 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 the what makes him the bad the guy? guy exactly. Yeah. What makes him the bad guy? Is it because the man is it the retrospect or removes clothing? And from all indications, most likely she fell for the appearance, the looks. So he looked better. Than but you said this guy. person didn't want those things at all, right? That's what I'm trying to say. That at times it's like a funny situation is in that this is where this person's heart is, but eventually the person falls for this thing again. So this guy that you're calling a fine boy now, <sighs> but is he that he has, does he have everything? In no disposal. No. In so fact, it was the so his <laughs> looks, physical look, his, his, his face, his face his his but, 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 but you said the word. Many people were coming to that. So that's that's so my struggle suitors. now. So yeah, but then but she, she said she wanted somebody to build. She didn't can, want status. She didn't want money. She didn't but want. But eventually, look at what now. Eventually, oh, she ended up with. And so the question, so it's like a, a, a dilemma to, you know, it's, it's like a, she likes a mystery in the sense that even a good, nice church lady mm -hmm. can still fall for some of these things. So, in the sense that mm -hmm. for many years she said, oh, I don't want this, you know, then eventually, because you don't want these things, it's as if you now fell on the other side of things in the sense that, Okay, this guy doesn't have much. In fact, you're even the one more or less supporting the guy. Primarily, this guy is fine. Mm -hmm. He's fine. In fact, the people around her said most likely she went because he's fine. He's mm -hmm. fine, I mean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In fact, the story, uh, uh, let's, leave, let's leave the details because it's fine. Even during the initial stage of the marriage, the church people around them were telling, trying to contact her people to come and carry her away that they don't understand this guy again. He was hitting her? Oh, and don't be married? Talk, yeah, yeah, different. So, did she not notice that before marriage? In fact, the news was that even during the tradition, she was already crying. No, during the courtship, was he not abusing her? I don't know the details it's, about it. It doesn't just happen over there. Yeah, so, 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 so the, 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 example, the summary is that was because of she, was, she more or less shielded the guy during that stage, before the marriage or wedding stage. Okay. From her, she should have the guy so from the her family members didn't know what kind of They noticed was. some things. But and we're trying to, you understand, to point them out. She, she was she, like, no, no. And okay. because of the but history she she's was. had that, you know, different people will come and she will say, you know, that, you know. No, so she was already in love with this guy, I think. It all boils down to she yes. having some emotional attachment to this person. She was in love with him before. That's the fact. I That's guess. just the fact. Because a woman will not, somebody will not come from abroad. Mm. They will give her a better option, mm. better life. And she sees that he's a Christian mm. and God is leading her to him. And she will say no to him to marry another person that verbally abuses her or even physically abuses her. And is even people notice the red flags and she's saying no 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 it's fine she's covering up for him she would not do that if she was definitely not in love with him so the question is now this whole why did she fall in love with yeah, him exactly that's the question yeah why do you fall in love with people it's not so no, most men and women are slightly different so 
women fall, fall in love for different reasons. Mm. For maybe they have they've had a relationship with one another before. Okay. I mean, and then she thought she well, likes him. Well, well, I, no, just to go back because I'm thinking about it. So that that is really a problem, not of the guy though. Right, because yeah. appearance she, she is already something knew different. The, the no, that, that's yeah. why that's why the so, question is so why do the nice ladies, the nice girls, make that move? Well, like so the process is saying that at times it could be oh they've emotionally fallen for that attached person, to him. attached to that person. So even if red flags are coming, they don't necessarily yeah, you turn blind eyes to that. Yeah, so, no, because the question at, at times because for me, I was I was thinking of it. When the whole thing came up, I was thinking of it in terms of deceptive practices, right? To present myself in a way that I'm really not, to be able to win somebody's heart, and that is how they game the situation. That's another. But angle. what you are saying? No, there are different angles. Like, that's another angle. It's like this guy didn't even this. this he, yeah, that's sense. how I thought. It was just that, 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 one, that one you said is also an, another angle. But do you know what is common to both of them? It's still the same lady. Whether the guy well, comes with deception, I mean, the, the, or the, the guy doesn't come with deception. Yeah, I, I mean, if you don't have the spirit of discernment, if if somebody is able to game the situation and you don't see it, I don't blame them that much compared to if you already know the red flags yeah. and you are trying to show the person yeah. so that other people wouldn't even tell you what their problem is, then then you are the um, agent in that. And I think this is where this is my own personal understanding, and I think this is where having. I don't like using this word spiritual mentor or counselor anymore Community. because there are many things that have happened under that guys. I think this is when ha having, should, let me call it, is someone spiritual that you can trust. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not, not just even to counsel you, to pray along with you. Because this is what I believe that in that kind of situation, there are some prayers that will go on. God will with his hands scatter that thing. Yeah. You know, yeah. you know, you just notice that these two people, things nothing is working. Work out, yeah. Because I believe that this is my own, how I put it, view on the thing. For nice ladies, good Christian ladies in church, pray, look for a godly, I know they are rare, but look for someone, whether in your church or outside your church there. You know, this person is spiritual, godly, it's not just, the person might not even hold position in church, but you know this person fears God. Those are the kind of people you should tell some of these things when you're in a relationship to also, not only counsel you, to pray along, along with, with you. you. Yeah. Yeah. Because there are so many, I mean, I was telling you when we were coming, I don't know many people physically, but I know, I can count at least four people I know mm -hmm. whose marriages have scattered. Some of them didn't even last yeah. up to a year. Yeah, I I, I know two of at least is it two of them yeah. happen in deeper life. Yeah. Unfortunately. And this people is not old, maybe they are older. It's our age group. Oh. Right. Wow. So I am I've seen some things, I've heard some things that is just some strange and weird stuff that you would have thought maybe in a place like maybe deeper life, either some counselors or some maybe marriage committee or something would have tried to mitigate some things, but no, things are still happening. So Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and I think mm -hmm. also, ladies, if they have those um, spiritual, whatever, either mentors or whatever we want to call them, they will also help them, tell them actually the real thing to look for, like Sister Princess was saying. You can feel butterflies in your stomach. It doesn't mean that's the right person to marry. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, sure. This person might have money now. It doesn't mean you should marry the person. Because in money. the next year, the dial those things might go. Yeah. I think it was Pastor Billy, I heard him say this and he said marriage is a, is a destination or something like that. It's yeah. not the present. Yeah. No, no. The traveling. It, it's it's that's, that stuff. That's the way me I see it because... It's a journey actually. Yeah, exactly. And I love these two, these two scripture passages. One is, the way I look at it, one is for the guys, one is for the ladies. Yeah. The ladies is commonplace. Proverbs 31, 10 to 31. <laughs> There's that place that shocks me. It says, the husband safe in his I'm paraphrasing the husband safely trusts in her and he has no fear for damage or loss. I ask myself this question at times I say how many women can say see they if they are married my husband can trust me if he leaves this thing in my hand there's he's not going to suffer loss he can go not think about it I'll take care of it. Mm -hmm. For the men Proverbs twenty six it says men will come and say they are good. Mm -hmm. We say faithful man who mm -hmm. can find yeah 
So that's why I look at it both sides. The woman, if you say you're a virtuous woman, this is already listed out for you. Okay, go and calibrate your life. For the man, if you say you're a good man, godly man, spiritual man, go and look at your life on the other side and see how do you measure up. That's why I say it. Okay. And, and yeah, if you say it that way, it's very hard to argue against it. Yeah. That is the whole point. And, and one would have to pray for the spirit of discernment because, like you said, there are many people in church that, yeah, so we pray for discernment that when somebody comes to you or whatever the appearance may be, you still be able to tell the wheat from the chaff and say, no, I mean, yeah, I'm not really going with you because to marry and you marry scatters in a year, less than that is a yeah. very pathetic yeah. situation, Just, especially if it happens within the church. Yeah. And, so. and this, this, um, I know this one, this thing I'm about to say is controversial even in Christian circles, the concept of remarriage. Hmm. And I think that also compounds the issue, you know. But me personally, no matter how I try to look at it, if you look at the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, some people, even God went through divorce with Israel. But if you listen to what God said, He said, yes, I've divorced you, but come back. There's no, there's no way God that said, oh, God went to remarry or went to it take another work. nation. No. Yeah. He stayed alone. He so, went to if, so if we say that the, the marriage is a picture of Christ or God and the church, let's balance things up. Mm. Some people will say, oh, you know, there's that place that say, um, if a man, uh, if for, for fornication. fornication or adultery, yeah. you can divorce her. But they forget that the Bible now says that whosoever now marries the person that is put away is committing adultery. Yeah. So right. it's like a, you are in a box. Yeah. If yeah, you say, cause, okay, you cause, can cause, divorce, it, it's, yeah, it's, it's... The funny thing, because was Jesus saying that, and it's in reference, like if you look at the parallel text, it's, it's in Deuteronomy. Yeah. And what happens is that the woman is stoned, right? So, and there is death. Yes. Yeah. And so then you can remarry because there is death. Yeah, right. But what she, she died. Says, she died. So he can remarry. He can remarry. But in this situation, That's nobody right. dies. And mm -hmm. so people usually don't look at the parallel text in the yeah. drawing and they just, they just run with it. And mm -hmm. even Jesus saying, it's not if he commits adultery, he says fornication. If you're a married person, you don't commit fornication. Commit no adultery. I, 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 I even try to even keep it open. Let's even assume it's adultery. Yeah. If you look at that particular verse, the way it is set up, yeah. it now goes ahead and says, whosoever now marriage marries the person that is put away is committing adultery. Yeah. So and it's like, so okay, fine. If you are married to the person, you are still doing that. So yeah. you see the problem. So if you look at it as a whole, it's, then if you now bring it to this level and say, okay, fine. You can divorce, but it didn't say anything about you should go and remarry. No. Mm. no. So that yes, I mean, just say and, that and if you're going to do it, then know that you're going to live alone. Yeah, yeah, and even now, because you, it's it's interesting you bring up uh, God and Israel story, and you you see that God still pursues after after Israel. Yes. In the sense that God is not sitting and saying that we are divorced, be on your own, mm. I'm on my own. There is that effort her. of reconciliation. reconciliation. Yes. And that is what is usually mm. missing. And because it's unfortunate that the church has got to the point that we can even talk about the idea of separation. And when people I say just being semantics, <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, you can separate, you can't divorce. I'm like, no, what separation is separation. It's semantics. Is, yes, it's it no, is no, semantics. I, I agree with you, semantics, but you need <laughs> to understand you can, one thing. Biblically, separation, you can even make a biblical case for separation. It's still semantics. No, no, why yeah. I say you can make a biblical case for separation is if you look at 1 Corinthians, is it 7 or 11? Yeah. Mm. The way Apostle Paul was saying it is if this person is an unbeliever and decides to leave, mm -hmm. he says you are not bound, meaning, or you can't force the person. That's why I see it. They want to leave. So in that case... Because that is a very controversial subject. No, no, no. Because if you leave it at the... Yeah, because Paul doesn't explain what he means by you are unbound. And many people no, no. move it further and say you are not unbound to stay single. I, I you can get, remarry. I get it. I get it. Mm -hmm. What all I'm trying to say is that when we are saying, talking about separation, we are, we are talking about, in quotes, it's not like, oh, you go and get in paper for separation. No, no, no. no, no. Te let's call it, okay, let's use the term, temporal separation. Let's use that term like that. Yeah, I mean... And remember, we are, what Apostle Paul was trying to say was for a believer and an unbeliever. An unbeliever, yeah, yeah. He's not even talking about no, even no, no, in the no, church. No, two believers, no. But what the situation where that we see is two believers, they are even speaking in tongues. 
they hold positions in church, and they are saying this is biblical. Do you know why and, this happens? <laughs> and this is how I define it, and I always say this. This happens most times. They tell women that they can separate when there is a case of violence. I agree. And but the then, life of the wife or the husband one is in danger. danger. But they are not saying they should go and remind no, no, they no, say no, they can no. separate. So, so. That's the only time where there is danger of like where the man has started to try to strangle you or he's, you know, he's hit her and she's landed in the hospital and he's threatened maybe neighbors have to come and hold him with a knife yeah. and he but wanted to are, hurt her. But you are separating for the man to get help. Y yes, and of course. Now, in this case, I always say this, in this case, once the man has started to hit it's, his if wife, there is if he's not met, if he's not... Even he, ves ve physical abuse, because people overlook the well, emotional uh, even, aspect of even it. Even the verbal abuse. Me, usually I don't... Oh, wow. I, I wouldn't say <laughs> people should separate because of... Oh, because there is no contact? Oh, you want to commit suicide because somebody is yeah, emotionally when it, abusing When it comes to that point, yes, I would say go and get help. You need no, to go away so that you can, no, but you can, you can, you can re get yourself remember, back together. We're talking about in the church. You know, well, only about two Christians. Two Christians or professors. Christian backslide, don't they? No, professing in that, in that, that he's not an unbeliever. Prof that's Prof the point. Because here, yeah, I don't know what he's saying. He's an unbeliever. If it's somebody he's beating his wife, he's not an unbeliever. <laughs> he's a believer. Is he no, going no, to no, no. It's a professing believer. I wouldn't say he's not longer a believer. believer. <laughs> what is the the Bible term explain what a believer is? A believer is somebody that I mean, okay, let's say he's no longer a Christian. Oh, I don't even like that term. No, so when I say Christian, of, he's no longer like, Christ. That's the name of Christian. No, yeah, that's a Christian. Uh, a Christian I mean, is a follower of Christ. Christian has got many okay. dimensions of it. Well, I think people I prefer, define it in yeah. different ways. So he's no longer a follower of Christ. Yeah, he's no longer on his way to heaven. Yeah, <laughs> on his way to heaven. Yeah, <laughs> but he's still a believer. I believe something. No, he professes to believe. <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, yeah, he, in any ways, but if I'm looking at it, but there's on the term of that verse in the Bible that says that. Then, if a believer decides to leave, you know, no, no, believe. no don't believe. The decides unbeliever to decides to leave. You know that there can be a separation only if the unbeliever. You know, it's just, it, of course. Yeah, I mean, God I did mean, not originally expect the man to be hitting his wife, right? That's not the original uh, concept of marriage. It was not supposed to be so. You wow. shouldn't be. Why would you want to hit your wife, the woman that you say you love, and that you want to marry and all that? Why? Why would you even want to hit her? Uh, yeah, but I mean, if the it's happening is... today. Wow, it's very it's unfortunate. happening for whatever reason. People can cast even in church. Say, no, in the church, man, like I hear stories like about this. somebody. It happens, like, yeah. I, even if I was unbeliever, I wouldn't expect myself to be hating. You the know? woman, yeah. But it happens, and it happens. Yeah, I mean, some men are lost their life in the process. Some yeah. men are lost their life in the process. I understand that, right? It, there, uh, it goes both ways, but um, I know that some women, their mouth is like razor. I get it. <laughs> But the way the way I look at it is this: me personally, a man and a woman, if uh, depending on the size of the man and the, the size differential, but generally speaking, you shouldn't even hit her because you can just damage her. With what? You ask him to hit his wife. Just with the hand. I say you can. He will damage if he, if. He, Oh, it is but you said you're not supposed to beat her. No, that is what I'm saying. That what the man should no, tell No, you said the woman has a razor blade mouth. Uh -huh. I, that's, that's, why what I say, that's why I say blame can go both ways. But even in that situation, the man should tell himself that. See, even if this woman is talking, just find, just oh, find your way. See, because you know, know that's 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 what my damage. That's all. That's what. Because the way you're saying it. I heard you said that you are going to the no, 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 what I mean is that, what I mean is that, if you go that way, way, if you go that way, you're going to damage this. Oh, okay, damage now, now that is clear. But that, that I was sense. like, I don't think you are saying what I'm hearing. No, 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 that's what I mean, that you shouldn't even go to that level, no matter what you yeah, 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 yeah. say or doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, because like the, the, the reality is that, that some level, women, yeah. some women, it's interesting if you read the book of Proverbs, it talks about, a strange woman, mm -hmm. a strange woman, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it seems as if the antidote is providing for the strange woman mm -hmm. is wisdom. Mm -hmm. Wisdom is described as a woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the strange woman, if you hear what men, women are doing to men today, if a woman wants to divorce a man, even if the man doesn't even do anything wrong, the woman can still legally divorce them and take half of his stuff. Yeah, he can even still be paying for yeah. her. So no, non recourse divorce, they call it. Yeah, no fault. Yeah, no fault. Either. So there are different aspects to this, is but because the physical one is has leaves evidence, mm -hmm. that's where the most focus is on. 
nobody now asks the question how did he and, lead and even to for, this point yeah, for most christian yeah. code on code marriages the whole idea of physical abuse is little it's mostly about emotional abuse because mm-hmm. you can't really tell like when it's happening mm-hmm. right yes and it's very subtle mm-hmm. so nobody yeah. People don't really know, mm-hmm. and most times the woman is gradually getting destroyed. Yeah, and because because of people must not hear, mm. people shouldn't know the man is a leader, is a pastor, is a, uh. is whatever it is, and he's aggressive. Mm. But she feels she knows it's not right. But yeah. she feels, and, and sometimes women blame themselves for it. They say, "Oh no, I'm the yeah, one that's the victimhood, right? Yeah, the the yeah, victimhood. The yeah. That is why it's a that's that's cautionary tale yeah. for young people. That is why our previous discussion yeah, is about, a cautionary tale. or even this in this discussion, choice. The man, before entering a relationship, must come right, and the woman, like you said, must have that discernment to have people around there to be able to discern to choose right also, no. under God. Clear mm-hmm. her mind. Because if if God helps you and choose. God knows the end from the beginning. If you choose that person right to even start with, yeah. no matter the challenges down the road, you people will weather the storm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In the sense that, in the book of First John um, two, I think verse nineteen, it says, "Some people eventually leave, but yeah. they were not they were not part of us with. in the start. Period. They left." You see the problem. So the question is, oh, you see this person, oh, he's saved. Eventually, they fall away. You now say, oh, he passed. But what John is trying to say that he wasn't even part he wasn't of the born, He wasn't even a child of God. <laughs> it's so, a very difficult passage for sure. Now, the question is this because we are not God, we don't we see don't the heart. Who... That is why we have to take all the precaution needed before we even get into that relationship mm-hmm. to start with. So that all these blues that we are singing about, we won't sing it at all. We even mm-hmm. start the first tune. That, that's, that's, that's the way I see it anyway. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. in conclusion, we can say that. Uh, Good girls marry bad guys because they do not pray enough. They live in fantasy. They decide to let their heart direct them rather than being directed by the word of God and God himself leading them. And of course, those other parts like the physical yeah. and the, the attitude, the verbal, the way he talks, the way he behaves, the way he acts, the way he reacts. So all those things come into play. So yeah. I believe that men should get some coaching before they go and propose. Right. They should meet other fellow men that have done it before mm-hmm. and ask them, okay, I, I'm going to go to propose and um, what are your advice on how I should talk to her? Is there something I need to say? Is there something I shouldn't say? Is there a way to say? And, and sometimes you, you just need to be... And you say that the key thing is subtraction know what to say what not to say say. i think that is more important than what to say yes what not to say like taking things out yes what should i not say what should i let your words be few what should i not say (laughs) let your words be few yeah as a matter of fact if people just even stick to the the script will you marry me maybe it will be easy and if the woman says, okay, why, why should I marry you? What is your purpose? Why do you think I'm the one? Then you just tell them what it is, as it is. Yeah. Without telling any lie no. or cooking any story. Not at all. There's no need to why. say you are under any umbrella or anything. Yeah. Just say, okay, and you know what? I like you, and if, for- you like, if you just like her. Or I was reading the Bible on so, so, so date and it was impressed upon me that you would be my wife. Okay. And so now I'm leaving you to take time to pray about it. Mm-hmm. If you think it's right because, I mean, we're human beings and you have the right to accept or me reject. or reject me. So I'm, I want you to tell me mm. if you'd want to marry me. Yeah. Right. And, and that is, I'm a big fan of marriage committee. Like, it sometimes baffles my friends <laughs> because I look very liberal in terms of how I look and stuff. And they're like, how are you? I'm a pro marriage committee. And one aspect for me is the whole idea of faith. Because right? you don't get to talk to your sister before you do that. Yeah. And so, at least your testimony is tested by other people. And, like, I didn't derive pleasure in that until recently. Because okay. I'm part of a, sm- a friend group that we discuss things in the Bible. And I told them, oh, I proposed to my lady that I'm waiting mm-hmm. for a response. And they are, they are, many of them are white and they are non deep alive. So the okay. idea that you propose to the person that you are giving the person time to think about it mm. <laughs> you know they were like what <laughs> to think you know? about it. and so i explained to them the process okay. and, I, and they say okay can we hear your testimony okay okay and, I, and they're christians they are christians and, and uh, I, yeah I, that was a f- 
second time somebody had given me a chance to tell my mm -hmm. testimony mm -hmm. and which is quite unusual but because i have told that testimony to marriage committee yeah, yeah. and I, you know so that idea it, it makes you